Good morning, hello my fire friends. Oh, welcome Dense Planet. Hopefully again you're having a good day where you're at. And welcome to everybody else that is here today. You're here with your fiery new friend, the Inferno Man here, as we begin to play some awesome midweek magic and a little bit of brawl along the way. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into what we are doing today. All right, so there we go. So we're going to be playing some midweek magic today. We're going to be, of course, playing it not only just all day, but of course, we'll be jumping into regular brawl because that looks like what's, what's going to be today's event. And again, we're going to be just having some fun with a deck that I am really looking forward to doing. This deck actually put, was put together quite a while ago, but it got a lot of extra support from the recent set of Bloomborough. What deck are we talking about, however? So let's actually jump in right now. Hit start on this. And there we go. <laughs> We're going to be playing with squirrels today. I'm super excited for this one, by the way. So let's go ahead. Let's talk briefly about what this deck is trying to do with our squirrel game plan here. So since it loads up. Come on. Come on. Anytime now. There we go. Good game. Okay. So... What exactly are we trying to do? Well, we're just trying to go nuts, I guess, if you will. <laughs> I had to throw that in there. We're going to just go all in with our squirrel game plan here. We're just going to try to make as many squirrels as possible, make a ton of tokens, and then use them for value of all different kinds. So, obviously, we're going to be Rocky Chatterfang, Squirrel General. Obviously, there's going to be a couple of new squirrels you could use, like Camilla the Seed Miser here. But we'll talk about that in just a moment here. So... The whole point, of course, of the game plan is just, again, get those squirrels, utilize them for some actual bonuses, such as, again, you can sacrifice the squirrels here to get plus X minus X until S turn, or, again, you can utilize them for a bunch of other types of bonuses, depending, again, what's going on on the board state. So, with that, let's go ahead and bring up Chatterfink Squirrel General. So, it also has Forced Walk. This is an awesome card here that has three mana. It's a 3-3 Squirrel Warrior. Again, if one or more tokens would be created under your control, you get to play that many plus one, plus one green squirrel creature tokens are created instead along with the token itself. So in other words, say we get, say maybe like a food token from here and then we throw in the squirrel. That's how we can, or you're going to get a ton of them across the board. Otherwise, it's mostly just going to be then just trying to support that game plan here. And we're just going to try to grind out as much value as possible with all of our squirrels that we're going to try to rock. But otherwise, what else are we going to try to play with? So, let's kind of, we're, this is again a brawl tech tech. So, this is going to take a little while. So, <gasps> all right. So, let's try to see if we can get through this quick so we can just start playing the games. But otherwise, so we got Annihiling Glare here. We can, we can destroy a target creature or planeswalker, but however, we have to sacrifice either an artifact creature or pay four. Ideally, we have a ton of extra artifacts and a ton of squirrel tokens, so this would be a pretty easy, cheap removal spell. Blood Chiefs, there's another removal spell here, so either destroy something with mana value two or less, or we can hit the kicker cost and then just get something in general. Same with Bone Shards, we can discard a card, sacrifice one of our tokens to also destroy a creature or planeswalker. Bone Cache Overseer, a brand new card, of course, from the set. Oh, hey, ready to play? Yes, you are. I'll be ready to play in just a little bit. Uh, Bone Casher Overseer. So 1-1, one, one, one Squirrel Warlock. You pay one life, draw a card, and you activate only if three or more cards left in your graveyard this turn, or you sacrifice food. Otherwise, if you've used the new Forage mechanic, this again will help us just keep drawing cards for our deck. Malachar Rebirth here. It's going to be a modal land. Comes into play, tapped as a land, but of course we can then bring something back at instant speed. We will lose two life, however, but it comes back to the battlefield tapped under our control. Urborg Repossession, and also another awesome card here, so this will help us again gain something back from the graveyard to our hand. We can gain two life, and if we do kick it, we can also choose another target permanent from our graveyard to our hand. Vat of Rebirth here. This is a bit more of a slower style of recursion here, but it does work really, really well with our game plan here. Ideally, all we have to do, of course, is just use this to, again to get some oil counters on it. We can remove four oil counters, pay three, and then bring something back from our graveyard to the battlefield. Of course, it's only sorcery speed, but also we can use this constantly throughout the game. Bushwhack here just helps us dig for a land, and also we can use it as a fight mechanic. Chatter of the Squirrel here, just, again, a simple little way to make one token. If we could flash it back for two. With Chatterfang out, we can get two tokens, which is actually really, really sweet for the deal. Many Partings here, same thing. We can look for another basic land. Also create a food token. Squirrel Sanctuary, something that's not super crazy, but again, this can give us a little incremental uh, bonuses as the game goes on. So again, enters, creates a Squirrel token. If a non-creature, if a non-token creature dies, we can pay one, bounce it back to our hand, make another Squirrel token. Token, you get the whole idea here. Tamiyo Safekeeping here, just again, general protection for our game plan here. Gives anyone or permers text proof and indestructible. We gain a little life. 
Ravenous Squirrel here, a great little squirrel here. That's awesome for us because, again, we can sacrifice an artifact or creature, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. And also, if we do sacrifice it by paying the three, we can gain one life and draw a card. So, great for engine piece here. Revitalizing Repass here, also more protection, gives a plus one, plus one counter on one of our creatures and gives it um, indestructible. Or we can then play it as a tap land. Candy Trail here, it's a food, and also, again, scries when it enters. When also we want to, we can then sacrifice it to gain some life draw a card, which is up in here. Obviously, I don't need to really explain this one, but again, same thing. Sacrifice a creature, make a food, and if we do have a couple of tokens, we can then kind of generate even more tokens with it, so it's actually great for us. Bone Mine Orator here for two mana, two, two, War Squirrel, Warlock, Bard. We can exile for four from our graveyard to bring another target creature from our graveyard back to our hand. You'll notice that some of these are going to be really, really helpful for the whole drawing from graveyard back to our hand for a specific card, which I'll talk about in just a bit. Deadly Dispute helps us draw some cards, create a treasure token, feed the swarm, another more removal, mostly for enchantments. Fell here, simple, clean, just destroy a target creature. Osteomath Adept here, so 2 mana, 2-2, two, two. Squirrel Warlock, Death Touch. Of course, we're tapping it until end of turn. You may cast Creature Spell from your graveyard by foraging in addition to paying its other cards. If you cast a spell this way, the creature will enter with a Finality Counter on it. Really great, again, for Recursion. Valley Rock Caller here with Menace. When it attacks, each opponent loses one life. We gain one life, where X is the number of other squirrels we control. Yes, it also control, also works for rats, lizards, bats, and all that stuff. But we, again, are focusing on the squirrel game plan here. Baker's Bane duo here, two mana, Squirrel Raccoon, enters, creates a food token, gets a little extra pump, but we don't really too much about that, all we just want is that food token. Bushy Bodyguard here with the offspring mechanic, so when it enters, you can create, you can forage, and if you do, we create two plus one plus one counters to add on to it. The forage ability to create a token also does triggers off, again, Chatterfang. Cache grab here, mill four cards, and then you can put a permanent card from among those cards into our hand. If we control a squirrel, again, create another food token. Triggers again, Chatterfang with all its abilities. Chatterstorm here, hilarious if you can get this to chain off. Maybe as a great finisher, so you can create a ton of extra squirrel tokens for the storm mechanic that it has. Scurred Colony here, it has reach, so that can help us again with pesky flyers, but it also gives plus two, plus two, as long as we control eight or more lands. Squirrel Sovereign here, just a simple little cute little lord here, um, and then again, gives all of our squirrels plus one, plus one. Thorn Vault Forager, it's a mana dork, but also we could forage to then create a little extra mana. We can also then tap four and tap it to then create a build, oh, we can then search for a squirrel and then put it into our hand. Trail of Crumbs here, just again, makes a food token. It's another sacrifice piece engine that helps us again dig through our whole deck. Verdant Command here for two mana. Mostly just want it for the squirrel tokens, but again, helps us out with also being able to then do some graveyard hate, gain some life. We can technically also counter a target loyalty ability for Planeswalker. That's super, super specific though, so it's not something you're going to use too often, but it is there as an option. Welcome to Sweet Tooth here. Same thing, makes a token, makes another token. Get a plus one, plus one counter on target creature where X, where X amount of... Um, Wow, I cannot say words right now. Put a X plus one plus one counters on a target creature we control where X is one plus the number of foods we control. Math is hard. So basically, just it's a pump ability. Just That's all you need to know. Insidious Ruse here. This is, again, one of our sweetest pieces right here. Creature tokens we control get plus one mana of any color by tapping it. So then all of our squirrel tokens now become mana dorks, allowing us to just cast off everything very quickly. However, if one or more creature cards leave our graveyard, we get a plus, plus zero plus one green plant creature token where plus, plus one plus one counter on each plant we control. Ideally, we could just keep bringing back some of our squirrels that we can just bring back from the graveyard to our hand. Insidious Ruse goes off in a huge way. Vine Reap Mentor here. And it enters or dies, create a food token. Again, more token support. Arcane Signet, another great piece for that. And it's pretty much a staple for any commander deck at this point. Bumbleflower Share Pot here enters, makes a food token. We could sacrifice it later on to destroy non land permanent. Again, it's a little expensive, but it does help us out in the late game. Collector's Vault here, another great engine piece here. We can just start throwing stuff away, create some treasure tokens. It does trigger off again with Chatterfang for that ability. Lemboss here enters, loves to draw a card for two. We can sacrifice it later on, just puts itself back to the graveyard. Again, just more support for the abilities it has. Back for seconds here, we can bargain any one of our other tokens or artifacts, enchantments, or whatever. So since we have a ton of them, so then bring back something from the graveyard to the battlefield. Dagger Fang Duo here. It has Death Touch, so it's a great blocker here, but also when it enters, it can mill two cards for us. Balagad Recovery, great for us to then bring back something back from our graveyard to our hand. It's also a tap land. Bridgeworks Battle here, same thing. Also gives us a fight mechanic, gives us some pump. We can also have it enter as a land if we need to. Chitter Spitter here, also another great engine piece for us, and then just help us just create more creature tokens. And also for the pump ability it'll have for every time we get a squirrel with an acorn counter on it. 
Curious Forger here enters. We could Forage. I remember, again, the Forage ability means you have to exile three cards from our graveyard or sacrifice a food. We have plenty of food in this deck for it to sacrifice. If we do, we can bring, again, a permanent card from our graveyard back to our hand. Heaped Harvest here enters, allows us to then dig out a basic land, put it onto the battlefield tapped. We can also sacrifice it to gain three life. It is all food too, which is great. Honor Dry Leader here. Well, again, we're almost done, everybody. Almost done. Don't worry. We're in there. Um, Honor Dry Leader here has Trample. It's a 1-1. One, one. When it enters, you get a plus one, plus one counter on it for each other squirrel and or food we control, which is great for us to make another super big, beefy creature to just knock down everything with. And then whenever another squirrel or food we control enters, put a plus one, plus one counter on the Honor Dry Leader. Return to the Wilds here. Helps us again dig out another land. We can also make a token of any kind, which will, of course, trigger off Chatterfang. Scurry Oak here. If we can get this to go off, we can make a, a sweet, huge amount of super go wide strategy with squirrels if we get plus one plus one counters on the square yoke we don't have, have an infinite combo for it but ideally if we can get it to go off even a little bit here it's incredibly good spider food here helps us create a creature token destroys an artifact or enchantment or a creature with flying squirrel mob here will give us again a giant amount of plus one plus one for each other squirrel on the battlefield camilla the seed miser can be a great alternate um uh commander for you if you do want to play it so if you do want to play this instead of chatterfang you can it's going to be basically a legendary squirrel warlock it has menace it also allows other squirrels we control to have menace and whenever we sacrifice one or more foods we do get to create another one one green squirrel creature token plus two and also pay two and forage to then put a plus one plus one counter on each other squirrel we control so this is again another great way if you want to just focus on more of the sacrifice ability with foods to then utilize this instead but both of them are great as they are so your mileage will vary depending on how you build it patchwork banner here it's another mana rock for us and then of course we can then give all of our squirrels plus one plus one as it enters the battlefield fell the profane here another flip modal land here it allows us to just get something out of the way but also if we want to we can play it as an actual land Knight of Sweets Revenge here. This is, again, one of our greatest finishers here. We get a ton of food out. You've seen me play this card about a year ago. Again, if we make a ton of food, we can then just trigger this off. It'll also make all of our food into uh, mana dorks, which is great for us and to help us just go off. Parallel Lives here. This has been where also more of the expensive parts of the deck come in. So we have Parallel Lives here. We have Primal Vigor. We have Doubling Season. Basically, all of these just do the same thing, which is if an effect will create one or more tokens under control, we basically get to double it up. So this with Parallel Lives, we have to do it also with uh, Doubling Season and also Primal Vigor. There's, again, a, supple, a couple of minor differences with them, mostly, again, with the plus one, plus one counters from Primal Vigor. And then, again, with Doubling Season, we can also put more counters on stuff. We don't really focus too much on the counter game plan here, but that's actually just a nice little bonus for us. We have Totski here. Again, whenever a creature we deal combat damage to, we get to draw a card. It has to attack every turn, but it also can't be countered, and it's indestructible, so it's also great for us. Treetop Sentries here. It has reach, and also when it enters, we can forage, and if we do, we get to draw a card. Squirrel Wrangler here. Another classic when it comes to squirrels. Sacrifice a land to create some tokens, or sacrifice a land to then give all of our squirrels pump. Binding of the Old Gods here. Great for, again, our game plan here. Just getting overall removal. Gets us a little bit of ramp, and also gives all of our squirrels death touch, which is a great way to then just force through damage. Drake Keeper here. Five mana. Enters. Creates some more squirrel tokens. We can also give all of our squirrels pump if we pay four mana and give it menace, which is great for also our finisher. Whew, okay, and then finally, all the lands, everybody. So we have Mudflat Village here. Again, it just helps us, again, just bring something from our graveyard back to our hand. We have to sacrifice, however, the Mudflat Village itself. Swamps, some forests, Gingerbread Cabin. Time this right, we get a food token out of the deal. Oak Hollow Village. Time this right with all of our tokens. We can then create a bunch of plus one, plus one counters put on squirrels. And a bunch of all the tap lands. Remember, we are a budget deck, so we're going to keep this as cheap as possible. So Dark Moss Bridge here. Festering Gulch. Haunted Mire. Jungle Hollow, Witherbloom Campus, Woodland Chasm, Arid Archway here, great for bouncing back one of our modal lands, Command Towers of Stable, Demolition Field for, again, some land hate, Fountain Port here, another new option for us that'll help us just create a bunch of more tokens, Pit of Offerings here for a little pseudo graveyard hate, Promising Vein here, Reliquary Tower, Rivers Overlook, and Urza's Cave. Woo! Again, that's a lot of lands to go through, and again, I am do apologize that it took a while for that, but you get the idea, everybody. We're just trying to play a lot of squirrels and get a ton of value from all of them. But the big question we have to ask ourselves now is, is it possible for our squirrels to get our wins today in the midweek magic event? And also, is it possible for us to actually get this going in real brawl? Well, you're about to find out. So thanks again for hanging in there, everybody. While we get this all ready to go, we're now going to jump into brawl itself and see how well the deck does. So let's pick that, of course. And let's jump in now. So we're going to, again, as we usually do, we'll do some midweek magic for a bit. We'll then jump, of course, into playing the actual 
real format itself, and then we'll have some fun from there. All right, so here we go. Can our squirrels get there with what we got? All right, all right, all right. So with that, let's see. Do we want to keep this hand real quick? Okay, so we got Candy Trail, Heaped Harvest. Uh, we do have another land, so I think we should keep this. Okay, so with that, Jungle Hollow coming in. Gain some life. All right, Island. Harrier Strix. Doesn't really do anything against us, but that's fine. All right, and then we'll play Witherbloom Canvas. Let's play Candy Trail. Hit to Scry. Ooh, Camilla. All right, so we'll do it this way. We'll put the Swamp on top. We definitely want to make sure we hit our land drops. All right, another... So let's see what that. So finally, now that I got all that out of the way, I know that was a lot to cover, but again... How's everyone doing today? Hopefully, again, you're having fun wherever you're doing. Hopefully, again, you're having a great time wherever you're at. The modern age. All right. So they'll get to draw a card, discard a card. That's fine. Uh, opponents. All right. Harrier Strix. All right. We'll put down a Swamp. Let's bring out Chatterfang now. Let's do this. Oh, okay. You're playing against Nadu Dense Planet. Oh, dear. Well, again, hopefully, again, it gets better for you. Nadu is, again, not a fun card. Absolutely disgusting card, by the way. Hopefully, we won't run into Nadu today while we play on stream, but good luck to you. Hopefully, again, you can get your uh, wins in. Uh, opponents? Okay. Island? Okay, they're swinging. Don't take their time. That's fine. Come on, opponent. What do you got? Oh, okay, they're playing ninjutsu. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I hope Jasper Flint helps. Okay, so you're playing Jasper Flint. Okay, well, hopefully that does work out for you. Again, just hopefully you're going to get there with what you got. Bring in Camilla's Seed Miser. Oh, Carlos, I be just subscribed. Well, welcome, friend. Hopefully, again, you're enjoying the content wherever you're at. We're going swinging right here. They're down to 22. And we'll pass here. Okay, Modern Age is flipping. All right. Uh, opponents? Come on. Anytime now. Well, while our opponent is taking their time here, I guess the question I would probably ask all y'all is, um, so, question I've been trying to ask is, overall, now that we've had quite a bit of time with this whole, okay, they're paying Canyon Crab, okay. So, how are we all feeling overall now that we've had a good run so far of Bloomborough? It's so far, it's been a fun set, but it's not really a, a powerful set. Ooh, you stole Mazusa, nice, 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 nice. All right, so our turn here. Yeah, how are we all feeling so far about Bloomborough? It's it's an okay set. I'm enjoying it. Not gonna lie, but again, it's just been a little tricky. Okay, we'll pay here. Sacrifice the candy trail. Okay, we'll sacrifice the food. So this is again, this is again what the deck is trying to do, everybody. We're definitely gonna get off right here a ton of stuff here. <laughs> watch, 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 watch. Make some squirrels, make some squirrels. Take out that Thousand Face Shadow. We can't have that start doing more ninjutsu shenanigans. That's what we wanted to sh make sure. Um, we will... How do we do this here? Play the Heaped Harvest. See if this works. Alright. We will... Get a Forest. So how do we do this here? I think we'll just swing with Camilla. We'll see how that works. 
If we absolutely have to, we can sacrifice at least one squirrel to get and give it a little extra pump. Hopefully we won't have to, though. So with that... Do you trigger anything, opponent? You don't. Okay. Well, that worked out in our favor. Huh. Let's see. So, oh, got one with multiverse. Oh, that's cool. Nice. All right, Gerald's coming in. Okay. Harrier Strix, come back. They make a zombie. Okay. They tap us. That's fine. And we pass. Okay. So with that. Okay. We got a Blood Chief Surge here. Well, that's pretty nice. So with that, let us... We're just going to get the full cost here. Because they're all tapped out. Take out Gerald. They're going to obviously bounce it back. Bonemite Orator is probably our only other option here, so that's fine. So with that... No attacks yet. We're going to hold off for a little bit here. Alright, they got an island. Also, quite a question for everybody here. Huh, for some reason, I don't know why it's saying upcoming on... Wait, why are we saying upcoming right now on YouTube? I should be live on YouTube right now. That's kind of awkward. Hold on one second. Let me see if I can figure that out, too. For some reason... It's saying... I'm not live on YouTube? Or is it, like, delayed on YouTube? Um, anybody that's right now... If anybody's watching from YouTube, let me know. Because I'm trying to figure out, like, why is it not popping up on YouTube? That's, that's a little strange. I didn't mean to have that just hold off. But we'll see. I'll check that out in a moment. Okay, so with that, sacrifice the Heap Harvest. This will trigger off Camilla. Make some more tokens. We dig out another basic land. Get another forest. Let's see, how do we do this here? So. Alright, we scry with Wither Bloom Canvas. We don't need another forest. We need more action right now. And with that, no attacks yet. We're just going to try to see if we can build the board just a little bit more. Yeah, why is it saying... Yeah. Sorry, everybody. I'm, I'm kind of sidetracked right now because I'm noticing right now on YouTube it's not playing live the deck. I don't know why. I feel like I have to check that out. Okay. I'm trying to figure stuff out here, everybody. While this deck is also going off. Yeah, anybody on YouTube right now see if I'm going live? I don't know why. It's it's awkward right now. Okay. Right. Also, I'm in the middle of a match, so this is a little awkward here. Sorry, everybody. Um, okay. Curious Forger. All right. So, we're going to see if we can... Let's see. Forger. Let's see. Um, decline. Okay. Wait. Oh, well, there's not enough in the graveyard. So, any case. Um, how do we do this here? Scry again. Alright, we don't need another land. Let's just see if we can just get what we get. So, no attacks yet. Yeah, uh, again, I, I don't know why it's not going live on YouTube here. That's awkward. So I do apologize for anybody that's trying to watch on YouTube. For some reason, it's not popping up there. I don't know why. So I'm trying to figure that out right now. Also, while I'm trying to play a match. Okay. Bumbleflower share pot. All right. Make a food token off of this. Come on, opponent. So I think after this, real quick, everyone, I'm going to have to pause for just a hot second here just to see what exactly is going on. Again, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, like, why am I not live on YouTube, even though I have everything running. So I'm not sure. Okay, forest again. We don't need that. I'll pass here again. I know. A little slow going, everybody, but we're going to see if we can start getting some action here in a bit. Okay.
Okay, opponent. Uh, shark is going off. All right, they investigate. All right, uh, opponents. Pass here. They swing with Tetsuko. Can't do any blocking. Well, actually, I can do one thing, though. So with that, let's actually sacrifice. Pay the one. We'll sacrifice one squirrel. So we're going to get rid of this. Unless our opponent has another answer. What do you got, opponent? Oh, never mind. The omniscience. Okay. That's cool. Relic score. Okay. So they pumped it up. That's disgusting. So that doesn't really do anything for us. But we get to kind of weaken it just for a moment. Okay. We go down. Okay. So then, let's see. How do we do this here? Okay. River's Overlook. Sacrificing it immediately. Swing now? Huh. Yeah, sorry, everybody. I, I'm still sidetracked. I'm trying to figure out, like, why am I not live on... Yeah, why am I not... Why does it still say I'm, like, coming soon on YouTube? I don't know why is that. I'm trying to figure that out right now. Okay. I might have to do a pause, but okay. Otherwise, swing here. We're going to see right now if we can just see if we can pull this off. Okay, that's fine, everybody. All right, they pump up. They make a flying incubator token. But they have to, everything's got menace, so they have to like pump up more. Okay. We'll see. We're going to see if we can just force through damage here. Honestly, I, I'm, I'm again, folks, I, I do apologize again. I'm not trying to, like, distract or anything from this. I don't know why. Yeah, why, why is it not letting me... Okay, sorry, everybody. Again, I'm still just trying to figure out, like... Yeah, sorry if anybody is trying to watch on YouTube. I don't know why that is not working right now. Okay, so let me see if I can do this real quick. Okay, so... Forage. Make some pump. Forage. We will one, two, three, three. Pump again. Right. And I guess we go from there. Big swing. Down to nine. Decline. Here's why. Herbo reposition, kicker, bring back Chatterfang and Camilla, back to our hand, back to our hand, okay, that wasn't too bad, we got a lot of stuff out of the way there, so that did work, yeah, why, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out right now, like, in the middle of this match, I'm still trying to figure out, like, why is, I don't know why I'm not going on here, I don't know why YouTube says it'll go live at 8. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, okay. You sent the video in Discord. Oh. 
Okay, I'll check that out later on, then splend it when I can. I'm sure... Well, hopefully our next match will go better. Okay, meanwhile our opponent is here. We're down to 17. They're at 9. If nothing else, you could definitely say that this budget version of Squirrels can grind. They can definitely grind out. Okay, so with that, that a Reaper coming down. Hopefully our opponent does not try to counterspell us. Okay, Chatterfang coming down. Again. Or not. Let's see. Do you counterspell opponents? Alright. So, the essence scatter. Or essence capture. That's annoying. Put it back to our command zone. Now play Camilla. And then we will not attack yet. Pass. Okay, so, trying to test out to see what's going on with why YouTube is not streaming this right now. Alright, key to the vault. Okay. And then they equip. Yeah, I'm I'm a little perturbed right now. Sorry, everybody. Again, I'm not going to try to keep apologizing for the whole game. But, well, wow, this game is taking a little bit longer than I was expecting. But otherwise, yeah, for some reason, it still says upcoming at 10.52 a.m. And for some reason, YouTube is just not. They're just not um, letting me do my thing here. Oh, this is kind of awkward. I don't mean for the stream to be delayed to later tonight. That's not what I wanted to do. But we'll see. Okay. Chatterfang coming down. Right. Ravenous Squirrel coming down. We will sacrifice Bumbleflower Sharepot. Triggers off Vat of Rebirth. Gives it pump. Land. Alright. Um, okay. Do we want to do anything here? Uh... Actually, I think we can swing here. I think we win. <laughs> I think we win right here. That that menace ability kind of shuts out our whole our opponent's game plan down. I think we win, right? We do win, right? Yeah. Okay, opponents. Yep. Block all you want. Yeah. Nice. All right, we got him, everybody. Woo. Okay. Yeah. There we go, everybody. Squirrels for ya. Looking good. Oh yeah. Love to see it. Okay. So give me a second here, everybody. You know, I don't know why. Um, I don't know why it's doing that. So we'll we'll claim. Worst case scenario, if this doesn't if this isn't gonna go live on YouTube, I can always just I guess I'll just have to uh re upload there later on. So sorry about that everybody. I know that's a little disgusting. And I do apologize, but again, we're going to see if we can try to do that real quick. So give me one second here while I'm trying to scramble here. Okay, visibility. Um, yeah. Sorry, okay, I'm trying to figure out right now. Why does it say upcoming for the stream? Stream. Sorry, I'm, I'm also trying to figure this out right now, so pausing right now for a second, everybody. Stream not. Let's see. Stream. What is that? Um.
Yeah, I, I'm a little sidetracked right now, everybody. Um, stream. What's it called? can't i can't figure it out right now um yeah i don't know why but it's just not i don't know why it's not doing it right now it says waiting for the inferno man august 14th 2024 10 52 a.m hmm. i don't know why I can't figure it out right now. Is it not set to stream on here? Hold on. Give me one second, everybody. Okay, I don't know why is that, but that's okay, everybody. I mean, worst case scenario, I'll just have to re-upload. I'll have to re-upload a little bit later on. So, sorry about that, everybody. Um, for some reason, it's just not, it, YouTube is just not loading it up. So, I don't know why is that. I'm not sure why YouTube, I, I don't know if I clicked on something wrong, but I can't fix it right now live. So, and also because I'm running out of time, we're just going to have to keep playing as is. So for those of you right now that are playing, or at least watching from Twitch itself, thanks again from there. If you're watching, or if you're waiting from YouTube, check me out again right now on Twitch. It is at least live there. So at least I can assure you that that is a thing. So. Okay. Let's see, am I, am I working on... Okay, so first, well, okay. Apparently I'm working on X, so that's interesting. But again, that's I guess that's a good thing. We'll keep the hand, by the way. Okay, we'll keep the hand. So, all right. And then with that, we'll play Haunted Mire and go from there. So with that. So meanwhile, I'm gonna check the Discord real quick. And then we will play Bumbleflower Share Pot. Make a food token. there okay so with that uh play our third forest chatterfang coming down fighting against maha interesting so this isn't gonna hurt us too bad because all of our squirrels are one ones anyway so that's something i worry too much about okay um opponent was playing okay oh dear this sounds disgusting. So with that, we will gain life, create some squirrels. Okay. So unfortunately, that's a really disgusting card. Why would they? Let's see. Remove perpetual effects. Okay. Woodland chasm. That a rebirth. Okay. So thankfully that doesn't perpetually stay on a commander which would be absolutely disgusting i mean why, why would wizards do this like i'm sorry i'm always definitely not going to be a fan of alchemy effects but here we are everybody we're just gonna have to roll with the punches on that one okay tenured ink caster it's a plus one plus one counter on it forest shatterfang coming back no attacks yet okay we're back in this fight everybody we'll get into this or not we got murder all right, that's fine. But bad rebirth does go off. Another swamp. Unscrupulous agent. They exile a card from our hand. Okay, so with that, I guess trail of crumbs. That's fine. Do they swing? They do. 
No blocks. Okay. Bushwhack. So, how do we do this here? Um, I guess we will sacrifice the share pot. Get some tokens. Some treasure. All right. Swamp. Let's see. How do we do this here? Um, finding of the old gods. Take out that ink caster. Go swinging here. Do you block opponents? You do. Okay. Well, that's fine. All right. Triggers off bad rebirth, so that's actually pretty nice for us. And then we will sacrifice the artifact. Put another oil counter on it. We will dig out another forest. Which is great. Okay. So, we are going to find a way to get through this. Some way, somehow. Maha. Dense planet. There are some who defend Nadu. Like, bruh, no. Yeah, I agree. Nadu is disgusting. I am sorry. Like, anybody that plays Nadu, like, you can play it if you want to, but just know that it's just... That's, that's a disgusting card. I mean, I'm not gonna even gonna bother trying to, like, defend that thing. Okay, so with that... Gingerbread cabin. Oh, we didn't get a forest? Oh, we didn't get a... F Wait, hold on. And three more forests. But we have three or four is there. How did that not give us a food? Okay. Well, that's awkward. Um, any case. Wait, we can't pass that yet. Okay. Um, forest. Primal Vigor. Pass turn. Okay. So, here's how we're going to do this, everybody. So, Chatterfang can come back, which is going to be great. And then, hopefully, Vat of Rebirth can bring it back if we need to in a pinch. Okay. With that, let's see. Can we get past Maha? That's our big question here. Get right down to 17. Ouch. We are running out of time, though. But we'll see. Okay, Rivers Overlook. All of our squirrels have Death Touch, which is nice. Chatterfang coming down. Rivers Overlook. Immediate sack. And then we'll get a forest. Swing here. Th doesn't have the block. All we just need to do is to do some damage. And we go from there. Okay. Come on, deck. I believe in you. And then there were who defend Nadu. That's like, wait, no. I def I switched decks. I played Gix Praetor now. Okay. Ooh. So it's a mono black deck? Is that what I'm guessing? Oh, oh boy. Okay, okay. Opponents. All right, that's fine. So they have minus one, minus one, or Chatterfang. Disgusting, by the way. We'll decline. We get Rattle Rebirth to get another... Another counter on it. They swing. Down to 12. Okay. So here's how we do this. We will bring back Chatterfang. We will then play... Let's see. How do we do this here? Um, I guess one Squirrel Token. <laughs> Make four. <laughs> okay. Treetop sentries. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll eat the food. Battle Reaver triggers again. Oh, Vyata Reaper is, is um, doing its job. I will definitely say that. Chatter the squirrel again. Make some more tokens. <laughs> Alright. So. Swing here. They're going to probably gain life on that rooftop assassin, which will be annoying, but that's totally fine. This is fine. Okay, bad rebirth going off. Okay. How do we do this here? Uh, do this. We will decline. So, that was actually our fourth Vat of Re uh, trigger again. So, I'm not going to lie. Four Vat of Rebirth definitely pulls in its weight. I'll definitely say that. Okay. Uh, Treetop sentries can't do anything yet. So, no blocks. Down to six. Okay. 
Come on, deck. I believe in you. We will then bring back Chatterfang again with Battle Reaper. Scurried Colony. Well, that does actually kind of block our opponent for a little bit, so that actually is kind of nice. Um, can't do anything else, really, so... I'll have to wait. Okay, so, I think with the amount of... Oh, dear. Okay, so, we're going to have to do this now, so... How do we do Okay. Sacrifice two squirrels. Battle Reaper triggers. Get rid of that flyer. Okay, so at least now we do have a way of kind of pushing through here. So block and block. Okay. Well, all right. Somehow, some way, somehow we got through that. Not too bad, right? Am I right? Okay. Down to four. Ouch. That does trigger off Blood Artist, unfortunately. So we're not looking good right here. Battle Reaper triggers as well. Okay. Down to one. Ouch. Okay. Revitalizing Repass. Okay. So with that... Going against Teferi Commander. I'm so done. Oh, Teferi is terrible. Sorry you have to deal with that. Ouch. Okay. That Rebirth. We will bring back Treetop Sentries. We will exile. So, one, two, three. Cool. Draw a card. Okay. Let's do a Master Adept. Not what I want to see at all. But okay. Alright, so. I don't think there's a way we're going to win this one. So. Okay. Well. We tried. It's okay, everybody. We tried. We tried to get through that one, but okay. It's fine. Okay. So with that, just continue on. We're still going to, of course, complete the midweek magic. And then whatever time we have left over, we're definitely going to just play it in Brawl as normal. So hopefully, again, you're all enjoying the content. We're out technically, wow, we're already at the halfway point? Oh, man, time flies. We're at the halfway point of the stream. So again... For those of you that are unable to catch this now, or if you're watching it on the replay, there's definitely, again, copies going to be on X. There's going to be a copy on YouTube, of course. For some reason, it's just not going live on YouTube. I don't know why. I'll figure that out later on. Um, but otherwise, thanks again for hanging in there, everybody. Be sure to give a like, follow, and subscribe wherever you enjoy the content so you don't miss out on any of the gameplay. Booster pack openings, deck decks, and so much more. Also, again, if you want to really, really support me, we do, of course, have a Patreon. I don't expect anybody to ever support me on there. But again, it is an option if you really, really want to give some love to the channel. Or at least for free, check me out on Discord. We do have a Discord where, again, you can enjoy all of our content there. You can also chat with us there and a bunch of other cool, fiery friends if you want to join us all there. We'd really be happy to see all of you wherever you are supporting me. But otherwise, going back to the video here. All right. Uh, cache grab. Mill four. Where do we get back? Uh, I guess Binding of the Old Gods probably be the best thing. Oh, actually, wait, no. No, yeah. Binding of the Old Gods. We're going to need that removal. We're going to need that. Arcane Signets. Opponent is playing Uro, which is absolutely a disgusting card. Because watch all of this ramp go off. Yep. Terrible. But okay, we're going to find a way to see if we can get around that. We'll try against an Uro. Chatterfang. Squirrels coming down. Can we get there with squirrels? Okay, Primeval Titan. Opponent is going off here. Absolutely disgusting. But some way, somehow, we'll see if we can try to get around, around this. Okay, so, opponent is going off here. Yeah. I don't know what to say, except this is not what I want to see. Now they're going to get a lot of mana. Okay. Terrible. Come on, opponent. Just do your thing. It's not like I'm going to do anything else right now. All right. Okay. Are they done? I guess. 
No blocks. Oh, our opponent went off there in a big way. We're going to see if we can try to catch up at the very minimum. So with that, binding of the old gods. Get rid of Primeval Titan. That cannot survive. No attacks. Pass. Okay, Cosmo Serpents. Alright. Terrible, by the way. Okay. Alright. It's fine, opponent. You can go off. It's not like I was going to try to do anything here anyway. Am I right? <sighs> okay. Swing again. Can't block. Because we're extremely slow compared to our opponent. They have already exploded in value here. But we're going to try. Coma. Grabbing a squirrel. We get a forest. So with that, I guess we'll get a Haunted Mire. It's tap, but it does work. Okay, how do we do this here? Uh, many partings. Get another land. Get a forest. Make a food token, make a squirrel. Add that forest down. We will play Heaped Harvest. At the very least, we are ramping, so the deck is doing its thing. Take action here. We will get another forest. Play Ravenous Squirrel. Okay. So, we're kind of getting there. Sort of. Sort of. Okay. They're going to start making their tokens, too. Oh, boy. We're still going to try to find a way around this. Well, while they're doing that, a question I want to ask all of you on at the halfway point is, what's, what are your thoughts right now on secret layers. We don't talk about that too often here because mostly we're a digital uh, player. But I wanted to know, what are your all thoughts on that in general? So we're gonna sacrifice this squirrel here. That puts a plus one, plus one counter on this squirrel. That's what we wanted. We'll make a food and we make another squirrel. Down to 16. Okay, well, at the very least, we can get this going off here. Move for complex. Also another, our opponent is just ramping for days, which I absolutely hate, but it's fine. It's fine, everybody. Okay. Hedge Maze, doing its thing. Nissa, Making land fall, trigger stuff. Yeah, that's the thing. Uro. So they escaped it. So they get to draw a card. They get to put land down. Free mana. Ugh. Sorry, I'm, I feel like I'm checked out of this match just because our opponent here is just. This is terrible. This is why I'm not a fan of Simic in any way, shape, or form, but there's some people that actually do play Simic. Go figure. Okay, we get Death Touch, but it doesn't really do much for us here. Swamp. We will. Okay. Sacrifice this. We get to create a plus one, plus one counter on the squirrel. We will then get another land. Okay. Well, I mean, at the very least, we are getting our land drops, which is okay. That's what we kind of want. Okay. Good draw card. Okay. Candy Trail, I guess, is fine. Okay. So, with that... Let's see. Do we want to do anything else here? No. Well, actually... Candy Trail, at the very least. Okay. We get to scry two again. Um, I guess we'll just do that is. And we'll pass here. Well, I have no idea how, if I'm going to even somehow stabilize against this. Because our opponent's board is just way too big. We'll just hang in there for a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Okay, they're going to flip. They mill a ton. They'll put two creatures on the battlefield. Oh, man. Simic with its value is just insane. Maybe we should have put Tyler's Tracker into our squirrel deck. I realize I didn't put that in there because I mostly want to focus on just the squirrel package. Hideaway 5 for fight rigging. Okay. Uh, opponent. Alright. Put it on the Cosmo. 
Great hinge. Um, man, I don't think I'm going to win this one. <sighs> Alright, opponent swinging, which is fine. They do all their swinging. They gain life, draw a card. Okay. Alright. Opponent, you don't have to go off that hard. Yeah. I don't know what else to do here, everybody. They're just going to keep doing their thing. Honestly, uh, Uro is just horrible. I, I, I don't even know what to say. I'm just, like, right now, just watching our opponent just get insane value from their deck. Absolutely insane. So they get the Tyler Tracker to go off, draw another card. And here we are again, our humble little deck here. So we'll try. Block, block. Sacrifice this creature. Alright. Put a plus one, plus one counter on the squirrel. Alright, well, at least we can take out something. Sort of. Not an eight. Ouch. Okay. We'll try. But as you can see, our opponent is just going off. Alright. Cavalier of Thorns. Sure, why not? I, I honestly don't know what else I can do here. Oh boy. Okay. Opponents just continually doing their thing. I mean, the only thing that's worse than this is if they had Nadu. Which I'm hoping... At least I hope they don't have that. And okay, they just keep drawing cards. Yeah, again, um, I don't know what else to say except is what it is. Make another token, because why not? Okay. Um, gingerbread cabin. Make a food. We do get a squirrel off of that, which is kind of cute. Fall again recovery. Okay, what do we bring back? I guess squirrel wrangler is probably what we want. Get it back to our hand. Squirrel wrangler. Vat of Rebirth. Alright. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what else to do here except just as with the pass. Alright, opponent. Go ahead and do your thing. I don't know what else to do right here except this is actually disgusting right now. Okay, opponent. Go on ahead. Right. I'm pretty sure I'm dead at this turn. So... Just wanted to see what they're going to do. Actually, you know what? I realize now, looking at the clock, we probably should just concede now. Uh, I, I probably don't want to waste too much time here. I do want to at least try to see if we can get through the rest of our matches here. Just at least for midweek magic. Just at least for midweek magic, everybody. We'll just keep playing. Again, hopefully again, you're having a bit of fun out there watching me. Look terrible, by the way. But again, I do believe we can get a couple more wins in. Hopefully we'll see if we can try to outdo some of the other value other decks are out there playing. Okay, so with that, our opponent is playing Bristly Bill. So a lot of plus one, plus one counter shenanigans. But we do have some removal, which is fine. So that's what we want. We're going to try to see if we can just try to force them to then pay a ton for Bristly Bill. So I think that might be our best option here. So with that, Blood Chief's Thirst. Get rid of them now. <laughs> yes. Sorry, opponent. Here comes the removal. But you deserve it. Pass turn. Force. Slam against the entity. Oh, okay. Well, they want to start getting their... They want to start getting their tokens on. Okay, I think they're going to have a gimmick there if they're going to play Slime Against Humanity, but we'll see. We shall see. The only awkward part about this card, as you can see, is it even counts them if they're in exile. And that's going to be really hard for us to get through, but we'll see. We shall see. Pit of Offerings. Slime Against Humanity and our Blood Chiefs Thirst. That's all we can get. So that does give it at least the Golgari colors we need. Fell. So that's out of the way again. He'll bounce it back, of course. 
The good news, at least, about this deck is, since we do have Forest Walk, our Chatter thing is unblockable. So that means we can get free damage in, as long as we can just keep hitting our opponents. So let me get Trinity again. Okay, Bala get Recovery. That is not bad, actually. So with that, first off, Chatter the Squirrel again. Make some more tokens. Uh, let's see, how do we do this? Uh, Ginger Brew Cabin. Vine Rep Mentor. Make a food. Swing again here. Down to 19. Okay, well, we are blanking a ton of squirrels, which is nice. Okay, we're going to keep making oozes, which is a little scary, but we can get through them. We can get through these. So with that, no blocks. Let me do the damage. Down to 20. Okay. Okay, Bala get recovery. We will bring back Fell. So that'll be helpful for later on. We will play Scurrid Colony. And we will swing with Shatterfang again. Down to 16. That'll be hilarious. <laughs> we can get through with Shatterfang just as is. We'll see. All right, opponent's getting super aggressive now. That's fine. Down to 11. Slam against humanity number whatever. Ooh, okay. Squirrel Mob's not too shabby here. That's a 10 10. Um, okay, how do we do this here? We will fell. Getting rid of that big ooze. Okay, so with that. Okay, we need to have enough so that we can survive the turn. So I guess all I can do is just keep swinging with Chatterfang. Down to 13. Okay. Can we do it? I was just going to keep going off with slimes. Big slimes, by the way. Do they swing? Do they swing? They do. Okay. So with that, block the 5-5 five five here. 3-2 takes out this one. And then Scourge Calling takes out the 2-2 two two there. Okay. That's fine. The point is just to soften them up as much as possible here. Make another food token. Make some more squirrels. Many partings. So let's see. How do we do this here? Okay. Back for seconds. Bargain our way. Alright, we will then... Sacrifice the food. What have we got on the battlefield? Okay. Alright, make another squirrel. Let's see, how do we do this here? Uh, many partings. Get a land drop. Another forest. Of course, we're somehow making our way around this, everybody. Some way, somehow. Okay. So, I think here... We will sacrifice an artifact, get rid of here, sacrifice the food. Okay. I think that might be it. And there we go, everybody. <laughs> Your gimmick didn't work against us. Bristly Bill. Sorry, opponents. Your slimes just were not enough against our squirrel menace. So, yeah. Check out these nuts. <laughs> I had to throw say that out there once. Woo. Okay. Not too bad. We got through the gimmick deck, which was great. All right, we claim, claim. We will get our reward. Another set of gems, that's cool. Okay, one more in the midweek magic and we'll just do regular brawl as is and just see how we go from there. So, yeah, squirrels, they are grindy. They can get through some of the more annoying spots even against gimmick decks and we still can pull off our wins. So, feeling good about that one. Okay, our opponent is playing Frodo. So, can we get through Frodo in his deck? with our squirrels. Let's see. Let's try. All right, with that, we will play a forest and go. Okay, forest for our opponent. Sylvan Tutor, wow. Actually paid the money, for, they actually got that copy there. All right, let's see what they dig out. Okay, they got Aragorn on top, okay. Stop here. Uh, we're going to wait for a second, because we want to start getting value off of Chatterfang and those tokens it can make. So we're going to have to hold off for one turn. All right. Great haul of the Citadel. Frodo Baggins coming down. Frodo doing Frodo things. Promising Vein. Chatterfang. Ready to go with Chatterfang here. All right. So with that... Aragorn coming down too. What does it do again? Okay, attempts the ring. Alright. 
Oh, okay. Interesting. I haven't seen anybody play Aragorn here, so I wasn't sure how we can get around this. But again, our opponent's is going to get a ton of value here. Four. All right. So with that... Welcome to Sweet Tooth. Make a token. Okay, how do we do this here? Um, Hold off for a turn. Hold off for one turn. I want to see if they swing with Aragorn here. If they do, we can then have Revitalizing Repast help us protect our squirrel. Command Tower. Okay. Elaner Gardener. Wow, our opponent is literally a Lord of the Rings deck. Interesting. Oh, the ring bearer is going off here. Okay. So with that, they do the thing. Again, again, a quick reminder for those of you, if you're unable to see this live, the replay will be up on various platforms. I don't know why YouTube, for some reason, just wasn't just schedule this incorrectly. Maybe I, again, I clicked something wrong, but don't worry. We will have, of course, a copy on YouTube as soon as I can. So with that... Wait, how come we can't block with this? Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay. Wait, why can't we block Aragorn here? Plus one, plus one counter on the squirrel. Okay, down to 21. They lose, thankfully, Frodo. So that does help us out a bit. Unfortunately, they have to lose. we have to lose them also, but that's okay. We have a blue token. We make another squirrel, which is great. We will feed the swarm, taking out Aragorn. So he's gone. That did hurt us, though, but that's okay. Forest Walk helps us get through any of their stuff here. So, Chatterfang doing its thing, sort of. Hopefully, again, we'll get there. Frodo coming back for round two. Ring temps. Okay, so now we're just going to get a little annoying because that damage will stack up very quickly every time you deal combat damage to us. But we're going to try, everybody. We will try. Uh, no blocks. Temp 16. Gingerbread Cabin. We will put that on Chatterfang. So now it's a 5-5, five, five, which is nice. Okay, with that... How do we do this here? Uh, Baker's Bane Duo. Make another food. Forest Walk helps us get through. Down to 17. Well, we are closing the gap, at the very least. So we're going to try. We will try, everybody, to see if we can push through Frodo and Eleanor. As Ele it's Eleanor, right? Okay. Words are hard. Anyways, trying to see. Come on, opponents. What do you got? Show me what you got. Anything? Revive the Shire. Okay. Maybe I should have put that one in the Squirrel deck. That actually is a pretty good card for us, too. Something to look at in the future. As And I forgot to mention, of course, as always, for those of you that are interested, at the very end of the stream, which will be coming up... A little bit later on, well, we'll talk about, of course, how the deck did, the good, the bad, what you would consider for upgrades, and then again, for those of you that are my true fiery friends, stick around, and as always, you'll get a nice little sneak peek as to what is to come in the future. So with that, opponents doing their shenanigans here. They are going to drain us very quickly here if we're not careful, but this is only the hard part because... It has to be blocked. Which is annoying. And unfortunately, we can't really do much until we get more squirrels. So, this is again where it stinks a bit. Okay, so with that. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Can't do anything, unfortunately. Okay. With that, um, okay, yeah, we can't do anything. I was going to see if we could try to do some combat tricks to try to try to soften it up, but it's not working. We need more squirrels, actually, in order for us to do things here. So with that, 
Um, rebirth here. This is really awkward, and I don't want to do it this way, but we have no choice. We need to make, find a way to make squirrel tokens still. Chatterfang swinging. Down to 12. Okay. Well. I think the game plan right now is we just need to find a way to get out Dre Keeper, Honor Dre Leader, or Chatterstorm. Maybe we can just go Dre Leader into Chatterstorm, so that gives us a ton of tokens. But we'll see. Lemboss being played. Credit to our opponent there. They are playing pretty much an entirely Lord of the Rings deck, so that's that's kind of cute. I like that. I happen to be a sucker for players that like to play something that's on theme and on flavor. That's actually very clever. Boromir. Yep, they're doing the thing still. The ring still tempts them. Okay. Aragorn also doing his thing too. This uh, first strike and death touch, which is annoying. It's okay. We're not dead yet. We're not dead yet, everybody. But we are getting close to the end here, so we're going to have to be careful. Maybe we might stabilize. Just maybe. Okay. No blocks or anything. Huh. Interesting that they chose not to attack with Frodo. Maybe they thought we had something. Okay. Blood Chiefs, there's, that's not too shabby either. Okay. So. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Okay. Dre Leader. Gets plus one, plus one counters for all that stuff. Chatterstorm. It pumps up Banesbreaker duo. And we get some squirrels. Two. More pumps. More squirrels. More pumps. All right. Now we're, this is much better. Okay. Okay. So with that, we will swing here. Can't block opponent. It has forest walk. So it's just free damage for us. Down to seven. Okay. Well, we might be able to pull this off. Maybe. We're almost there. But is it going to be enough? Uh, opponents? What do you got? You got four cards in hand. We do have removal, so if we have to, we can get rid of Frodo or Aragorn if we need to in a pinch. Okay. They give everything indestructible. Gross. Okay, it's fine. They are starting to do their shenanigans here. It literally has all the keywords on it. All of them, but that's okay. Oh, expel the interlopers. Okay. Well, we came close, everybody. We came close. Ouch. They do their thing. Wow. That literally just screwed us over there. Down to five. Okay. So with that, swap. Okay. Is there any way out of this? Dray Keepers, I guess, is our only shot here. Make some squirrels. Blood Chief's Thirst on Frodo. Frodo goes bye-bye. Well, we're not dead yet. Close to the end here, but we're not dead. We're going to try. I don't know how we're going to get through this, but we'll try. Oh, Gundariel. All right. Well, they can definitely make some mana there. Not swinging with both? Um, wait, hold up. This is the first try. Okay. He's not the ring bearer, is he? Is he? Down to two. Okay. Opponent. Lemboss. So they sacrifice, gain some life. We can gain life too if we have to in a pinch. But ideally, we need to find a way to just stabilize with a ton more squirrels. Okay, so they're going to be able to ramp a bit with Eleanor. Okay. Trail of Crumbs. Hmm. Okay. Trail of Crumbs. We get to make a food. 
Okay, so is there any way out of this? We can pump up our squirrels here if we need to, and then give them a little extra pump here. But we'll pass. Okay. Wow, this is actually kind of tricky. This is going to be a little tricky here, everybody. We sacrifice another food. They gain life. They pass. Okay, we're down to two. They're at 12. Will they bring in Frodo again? Hmm. Okay, here comes Frodo. Round three. Do some ring temptations shenanigans. Okay, they put on Eleanor. Okay, so swing here. It basically comes down to this, everybody. So with that, sacrifice of food. We will see. Can we get around this? Can we get around this? We'll pay. We will get a forest. Gain some life. Okay, come on. Okay, with that, we will block. We don't have a choice. Okay, Arcane Signet. Okay, so... Forest. I guess we just sacrifice another food. We can then dig... A1. Squirrel mop. Okay, well, that's not bad. We'll take that. Gain life. Arcane signet. Squirrel mob. So it does get a little extra pump, so it's a 3 3. Not much, but it is something. No attacks. Okay, so game plan right now. We have to find a way to get Chatterfang back on the field. We have no other cards left, and we're just barely scraping by. Aragorn's just going to keep swinging here, which is going to be really annoying. They do their shenanigans with the ring bearer stuff. Okay. He has to be blocked no matter what. So unfortunately, that's all we can do. Down to five. They go up to 18. Oh, jeez. They stay wise and better than us. Okay. Peregrine. Makes a food. Okay. Come on, opponent. Got three cards in hand. Okay, Toski's not horrible, but it's not quite what I want right now. But I guess I'll I guess I'll take it. At the very least, he can just be Let's see. Sacrifice of food. Trailer crumbs. Triggers off again. We gain life. Day one. Thorn Vault Forager. It's not the worst. We just cannot get through right now. This is the only frustrating part about our opponent right now is they're in a really good spot with that Aragorn and Frodo. If we could just get them off the field, we would have a shot. But Toski also can block for a little bit, but unfortunately it's going to get sacked to the ring ability. So that's unfortunate. Okay. Oh man, this feels so bad. Can't even like okay. Squirrel mob here. Guess we'll just block here. <sighs> Not feeling good about this, everybody. They both die, unfortunately. They gain life, but we need to keep our life as high as we can. So unfortunately, Toski gets sacrificed. Which is a shame. They gain more life. That does trigger off Eleanor, so that means they just keep ramping. Oh man, we just can't get a break here. Squirrel's just not doing it right now. Okay, Fell the Profane can at least keep us alive a little bit longer. Thorn Vault Forager. Alright. And I guess I guess that's all we have to do it now. Okay, so with that. 
We just have to get rid of Frodo again, I believe. They make a treasure. Wait, do we, let's see, do we want to get rid of Frodo? Okay, actually, get rid of Aragorn now. Unless we have something indestructible. If he does, then. Okay. All right. That's game. I'm, I'm not going to survive beyond this. Okay. We're just going to have to move on to the next one, everybody. Well, again, so far, squirrels are doing okay. But they're not they're not the best, of course, even on a budget. But we are trying. You have to at least admit. Even on a budget, squirrels not doing too bad. Again, the deck only has about 13 to 14 rares, which is very low for this deck. Although the key rares that we have are very expensive, in paper at least. So, something to consider if you're interested in doing this down the line, maybe for your own deck. Okay, so otherwise, Jungle Hollow. Gain some life. So we're playing against Radic Tal Z Oh, it's a, it's a alchemy card? Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. I'm not a fan of alchemy cards, and I will make that very well known to everybody that does watch me. Don't like alchemy cards any way, shape, or form. I'm sorry. If you like alchemy cards, that's on you. I'm not going to say don't play them, but I just don't like what they represent in the game. Okay, so speaking of which, what kind of shenanigans does it have? Okay, whenever one or more knights you control attack, you get to draft a card. Okay, so that's its shenanigans, if you will. We'll see. Can we get around it? Um, Thorn Vault. And Ravenous Squirrel. Here come the squirrels. Hopefully they can do something here. Hopefully. Paladin of Atonement. Let's see. We lost life. We get the plus one, plus one counter on it. Okay. Okay. So, let's see. Mask of the Grizzle Brand. Alright. Opponents. Gonna see if they can start doing some stuff here. We will place Swamp. Chatterfang. We will... Okay, I guess Bushwhack. Take out that Paladin. Paladin goes bye-bye. He'll gain one, one life, which is fine. Down to 25 again. Okay, so, well, we got now enough ramp to start doing our thing. We just need to start bringing out squirrels. Lots of squirrels. Hopefully, again, we can pull this off. Touch the Spirit Realm. Oh, opponents. Don't you dare. <sighs> All right, it's fine. So, that goes bye-bye for a moment, which is annoying, but it's fine. We can still get around this, everybody. We can still get around this. Okay, put another land down. And our turn. Candy Trail. Shatterfang, round two. Down to 24. Okay, deck. So, here's how we do this. Candy Trail will come down. We can Deadly Dispute and then Shatter the Squirrel to then hopefully just start getting a ton of squirrels out. Let's see if we can get that to work. There's this Construction Drone, so our opponent is playing more Alchemy cards. Disgusting. They really should make a cube without Alchemy cards. I'm... I... I there's just some things that just... They do that are just a little unfair. But again, maybe that's just me complaining a little too much, but you get what I'm trying to say here, everybody. Okay, Candy Trail. We get to Scry 2. Okay. Actually, those are pretty good hits. So... That's 3. That's going to be 4. So Chatter of the Squirrel. We'll make some Squirrel Tokens. Opponent. Spur of the Dross. Okay. Well, I mean... We will do this. Sorry, opponent. Denied. <laughs> you get minus one, minus one, and proliferate, but you get nothing out of that. Too bad. Alright. Well, we avoided stuff there, which is nice. Um, and then... Swing here. Does our opponent do anything? They do not. Okay. Down to 21. Uh, we'll pass. We're going to hold off for a second here. 
So we got four cards in the yard. We could forage if we need to. If we absolutely have to, we can forage and start pulling on some squirrels. That'll be actually pretty nice for this card. Okay. While our opponent is trying to come up with a decision here for stuff, question for all of you out there that are still watching. Um, what? Okay. What? I'm trying to think. What, what was I going to say here? Uh, do you think when it comes to the game... Has it become too complicated for beginners to actually learn this game now? Do you think, for those of you that are watching, is it still, is it too hard now to play Magic? Like, as in, are you someone that, like, if you jumped in now, do you think it'd be easy or hard to actually get in? So, I'd like to hear your comments on that one. Alright, we're going to draw a card with... Grab a squirrel, sacrifice one squirrel, get some pump on it, alright, okay, not too shabby right now, Hexproof from black means we can't get rid of that, which is really annoying, um, alright, so how do we do this here, I think return from the wilds, we will make a human, get a land, forest, make some squirrels, arcane signet, we will spider food. Okay, we'll exile three cards. So that'll be bushwhack. Turn to the wild. Candy trail. Those all go bye bye. Get rid of that. Make another food. And. Okay, wait, does this. Okay. Swing here with the ravenous squirrel. I don't think they're going to block. There's no way they're going to block with this. No way. Down to 17. Okay. So, squirrels are getting there, everybody. Okay. Opponent swinging, too. Coco. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate that. You're just seeing how far we can get with squirrels, so we're going to see today. Okay, we're going to sacrifice most of our squirrels here. Got to get rid of that that knight. Yeah, for some of you that are joining me on Twitch or whatever, sorry. Um, for some reason, I don't know why, but YouTube has this stream scheduled for 8 tonight? That wasn't my plan, I swear. But otherwise... Thanks again for joining me. Appreciate it. Let's see. Seal from existence. Disgusting. Dense weather. Never again with Brawl. I got to witness three extra turns by the Teferi opponent. Ooh. That sounds really bad. Sorry you have to deal with that. Teferi is just not fun. But, I mean, it is what it is. So, hopefully again, your next match will be better. Let's see. Okay, so how do we do this here? Um, Chatter the Squirrel. We'll play Spirit Colony. And... Wait, hold on. Can we do this here? Um, Blood Chiefs thirst away that. They will get some more lands, which is awkward. We swing here. They're down at 11. We're at 21 still. Oh, yeah, you did lose. Well, there's always going to be another game. So, don't worry, then, Splenet. Shake him off like I do. I, again, I'm honestly not a fan of Teferi myself. But, hey, you got to do what you got to do. So, maybe next time you'll get your win. I, I believe in you. I definitely believe you can do it. Actually, oh, actually, we'll just let this go. Only down to 17. We're fine. We got time. Cosmo Elixir. Okay, opponent. Slowly starting to try to gain some life here. They do their scrying. Okay, got another forest. Not what we needed, but that's okay. I can still I can still use that. So with that, we will sacrifice a token, draw a card. Sacrifice the food. Okay. Draw a card. Okay, well. Honored Dray Leader. 
Gets a bit of pomp, so that's actually not too shabby for us. Okay. Swing with three here. Do you block, opponent? Do you have any response with your murderous rider? They do. Okay. So with that... Pop it up. Get rid of it. Down to eight. Go backing up to ten. All right. Opponent will shuffle that alchemy version into their deck, but that's fine. That means they have a ton of extra cards, but that's okay. Not something I worry too much about. We are empty-handed again. Something that I have a habit of doing a lot with my games. I don't really like to hold cards in my hand. I just kind of just dump everything out. So, yeah, that's that's an aggro player for you. That's usually how I am. Okay. Dense blooded. Uh, one match was Nadu, then Alchemy Rubbish, then Teferi. Ooh. That sounds absolutely disgusting. That sounds actually worse than what I've been going through today. So, yeah. Well, sending again. Hopefully sending you some better vibes for some better matches. Something that'll be something that's more fun versus a Teferi, an Alchemy card, and Nadu. Wow. We didn't actually run into Nadu today, so that was actually decent for us. But I'm sorry to hear that it didn't work out that well for you, Dense Planet. Again. Hopefully, it's going to work out better for you next time. Okay, opponent is gaining more life back with their Cosmo Elixir, so that's kind of annoying, but that's okay. We have ways of kind of... Fountain Port here can actually help us kind of get through some of this stuff. Okay, another Forest is not really going to help us here, so we need to... What do we do here? I guess we have to... We need to sack tokens. So, sacrifice a token. Squirrel dies. Draw a card. Okay, Witch's Oven's not bad. That actually can give us... That can refuel us. So. No, it... Oh, wait. Actually, I should have swung with Dray, Dray Leader here. I don't know why I didn't do that. I'm dumb. can't believe I just left free damage out there. On the other hand, they also probably have some removal in their hands of some kind. The Nalish Marshal. Also got from an Alchemy variant, which is terrible, but okay. Okay, they got Xander's Wake, another alchemy card. Wow. This is definitely not the kind of deck I like to fight against because it just they just keep getting more free value out of stuff that's honestly not standard in the game. But here we are. Here we are, everybody. Okay, so here's how we do this. So this is actually one of the reasons why you want Witches Oven in this deck. So you can sacrifice your extra squirrels, but you're not honestly losing squirrels. And you're gonna pump up now a Dray Leader. You get a food back. So this is actually not too shabby for what we're doing here. So with that, here we go. Arid Archways, okay. Arid Archway. Bounce back to Jungle Hollow. Um, let's see how do we do this here. Um, we will sacrifice a token. Draw a card. Okay, Bonebine Orator. That's not bad either. We can... Let's dig through our deck for a squirrel. Let's look for a squirrel. What do we need? I think Toski might be best. Okay, so with that. Okay, do we do this now? Six, six, four, four. Okay. Swing with the Dray Leader. If they end up blocking it or it dies, we can also sacrifice it with Witch's Oven. Down to five. Okay, not too bad. We're getting close to the end. Hopefully we can get a win out of this one. So looking at the clock, everybody, from what I see, I think we might just go on for maybe one more match, and that's going to be the wrap-up for today. Not that I don't want to play any more, but it's just we are getting close to the end, and as always, I mention all my streams. We have, of course, other obligations, so that's kind of why that is the way it is. Okay. Well, before I continue, looks like our opponent's going to try to uh, Conclave Tribunal this, so... Well, at least sacrifice it for some value here. So, Honor Dray Leader, I'm sorry. You did great. But we were able to get some food off of that. Make some more tokens. Okay. So, not bad. So, at the very least here, we're going to see if we can try to at least push through this. They swing. Okay. Yeah, if you want to, opponent. They were going to keep drafting more cards, which is disgusting, by the way. But it's fine. I think what we can do here is maybe we can soften it up just a smidge. One, two, three, four. 
So here's how I'm going to do this. Because I really... I hate this card. So we're going to block here. And we're going to at least try to soften it up just a smidge. Pay one. And then what do we do? We guess we will... Sacrifice one squirrel. We just need to soften it up just a smidge. Let's see if our opponent has anything. Okay, so it makes it a bigger hit. But it will die now. Okay, so at least this way, if they have to cast it, it's going to cost them a chunk now. Six mana. Then split it. Uh, I want the 1v1v1v1 one, 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 like real commander experience in Arena. I'm not going to lie. I think that might be coming. I know some people may not believe it, but I actually remember I did a small video that explained one card that might be a little bit of a hint that we might be getting real commander, at least in Arena in the future. I think their biggest challenge, though, is the logistics of trying to figure it out with the client. It is doable. I mean, if, if online, if Magic Online can do it, we can definitely do it. But the tricky part is, how are they going to incorporate it and make it work? Okay, so we got Toski now on the field. Toski's going to have to start swinging quite a bit in order to do stuff here. But that's okay. That's fine. So with that, Jungle Hollow. We gain some life. Um, how do we do this here? I think... We'll ping ourselves for one. Make some tokens. So this is what we need. Um, okay, do we need anything else here? Um, I think we'll pass. Okay. But yes, I do believe that Commander will come to Arena. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And I honestly believe they are just trying to find a way to make it all work, all things considered. So, that's my belief on what I think will happen in the future. Okay, so with that, going back to the game, opponents definitely got an annoying board state here, which I don't like. Got a lot of death touchers. Here comes Radic again. Disgusting. I would really hope that maybe we can find a way to push through this disgusting deck. But we're going to try. We will try, everybody. Okay, so with that... Witch's Oven. Sacrificing the fish. We'll make another squirrel for that. That's fine. We get another food. Okay, Squirrel Sanctuary is not bad either. Okay, so with that, Forest. Okay, so we bring this down. Make another Squirrel. Make two Squirrels, by the way. Okay, so with that, dig out for our deck another Squirrel. Any Squirrel would be fine. So which one do we want, though? I guess Camilla. Camilla, come down. All right, so here we go, everybody. We're building up that board state. Toski has to swing, unfortunately, which is really annoying because I don't want to give them free life, but that's what's going to happen right now. Watch. Okay. I suppose, though, wait, hold on. Maybe I can, can get through this. If I let's see, do I have enough mana for this? I think I do. I think I do. Okay. He has to block two. But it is un but it is indestructible. So here's how we do this. So hold on. We will forage one of our foods. This will create two another set of tokens for us. They put plus squirrels plus one counters in all of our squirrels. And we're not done yet. Uh, sacrifice one squirrel. Target a creature. Pump that up. We will lose... Hold on. Yeah, we'll lose one squirrel here. Okay. We're finding a way to get through this, everybody. Minus that. Do you have a way of protecting yourself, opponent? Wow, they have a settle the wreckage. Absolutely disgusting, but that's okay. You know why? Because we can sacrifice Toski here. 
We can't pay the one to bring back the Squirrel Sanctuary, which is unfortunate, but... We will still be able to get a free four. Wait, we can't get a four, so I forgot. This is zero. Never, never mind, never mind. False alarm. Okay. But we can still get some squirrels out of it. So, I think now we are set to hopefully get the win here. Hopefully. At the very least, also, Bonebine actually can bring back Toski if we need to. But our opponent's going to have to now go off big here. They're going to have to actually do their thing. Dense planet. Alchemy was a mistake. Yeah, I 110% agree with that. Alchemy is a mistake. You can see it right here against our opponents, who's playing a ton of alchemy cards. They probably would have lost a while ago if they actually didn't have these alchemy cards drafting cards left and right. But it's okay. It's okay, everybody. What about the sky? Okay. Wow. They blew up all that stuff. Just get all those flyers out. Okay. But this is it, everybody. We have to swing here. So. Okay, so we have to forage. We will... We'll do it right here, everybody. I think we can do it right here. Okay, so, forage. Pump up the squirrels. Okay, one. Got another land. I think we can do it right here, everybody. Forage. One, two, three. And they all have Menace, too. Yes. We can do it right here, everybody. I think we got the win. Keep it going, everybody. Keep this going. Oh, my goodness. It's finally working. So, this is, again, what we were trying to do, everybody. This is what we were trying to do earlier. There we go, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, opponent. You should have let me swing right there. Woo! That was it, everybody. That was, again, what you wanted to do with the deck. As you saw right there, we were about to swing big. Like, you saw finally with Camilla and Chatterfang, we had enough tokens out. Just forage everything to keep churning out all of your graveyard into value. And you saw right there, we finally were able to do that. Take that, Alchemy deck. Oh, that was so good. Actually, I think we're not, I'm looking at the clock right now. We might have to cut it now, actually. So that might be... I guess that's going to be our last match for today, everybody. We got our wins, so that was great. We actually didn't even have to jump into regular because we just finished our midweek magic thing. That actually took the whole two hours? Wow. That was actually quite a while. But you saw right there, that's how we did it. For those of you who are interested, I will, of course, leave a link in the details for this, whether you watch it here or the replay. There will be a copy if you do want to copy this deck for yourself. So what do we get? A Paw Paw Recruit? Okay, that's kind of cute, this little rabbit. We have... We haven't actually touched rabbits yet. I don't know if you all want to see rabbits. I know you all voted on otters for the next deck tech, so I am working on that. Um, but otherwise, before I kind of continue on with that, let's actually talk about the deck itself. Let's see. Our opponent definitely got these nuts <laughs> in that last match there. So with that, let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Would you play this deck in any way, shape, or form? Truth be told, it is very slow. It's grindy. But even on a budget, Squirrels actually does pretty good for itself. I actually was pretty happy with the deck. Yes, there were some awkward moments from how it is. But I think in a weird way, this deck might be better for actual regular Commander. Not so much Brawl. The deck is tuned mostly for Brawl with a lot of the spot removal. However, I would still say, definitely consider this if you do want to try this out. Maybe in an actual full Commander format, which is maybe a couple minor tweaks. I do know that they've already made a actual... Precon. So if you actually are looking at squirrels, definitely check out the precon, and I'm sure you guys would be satisfied with that. Having said that, if you do want to upgrade this deck, you want to get the most out of it. The only thing to keep in mind is, um, at least for arena, we literally put in every single good squirrel we could. So that already kind of covers that. I mean, in fact, I'll even show you right now. So with that, okay. So as you can see right here, literally we already threw in every single squirrel we could squeeze into this for arena let's see make sure we got not collected yeah literally this is all the squirrels everybody i'm not kidding this is every squirrel creature we can put in there's obviously more support but this is all the main ones from bloomboro and other sets i think the only one we didn't add in was corpseberry cultivator um this one didn't really help us out that much so that's why that was the only one that got cut out of the deck everything else is pretty value a bonus so i would definitely say this is probably going to be as good as it gets for that now having said that um 
what will we upgrade, you're probably wondering. So, let's talk about upgrades very briefly, and then we'll begin wrapping it up soon. Also, hopefully next week, I will assure you, we will definitely not have any mistakes putting this up on YouTube. I don't, again, I don't know why that didn't happen, but it's okay, everybody. Any case, so for those of you that are wondering, what else can we put in that will help you with the squirrel game plan? So it all depends on, again, how tight you want this game plan to be. You can use cards like Dark Ritual, obviously. Um, Insatiable Avarice also would be a great card for you for the deck. If you're looking at, again, other ways of just trying to get more value, you could have cards such as, if you want to play around with your opponent here, you have cards like Scheming Sanitary here. Uh, Scavenger's Talent is also pretty good for you as well. Reanimate, also great, just to get you a little bit more extra value with your cards here. Um, if you're looking at, like, maybe you want to get a little bit more synergy with other stuff, you can play cards like Call of the Ring here, so that way you can make, say, like, your Totsuki the Ring Bearer. So then this way you can get a little bit more value, and also, again, a little bit more out of your cards here. If you care more about tokens, you have cards like Dreadhorde Invasion, which is good for you, um, in terms of just removal. Cards like Legion's Ends, if you want to deal with, again, a lot of the, uh, token decks out there. Uh, wow, there's, there is a, definitely a ton. Priest of the Forgotten Gods, if you just want to focus completely on the sacrifice aspects of the deck, that's actually really, really sweet if you want to throw that out there. In terms of other cards, um, again, it just, it really depends on where you want to go. Cards like the Raven Man can give you more tokens if you just care about this token game plan with Totsuki. I'm sorry, not Totsuki, Chatterfang. Um, more sacrifice value can be cards like Ayara here. That can also be decent too. Um, in terms of just overall, just card draw, raw card draw can be cards like Gix. That'll be great for you to draw a bunch of cards. If you want to get a little bit more in terms of just the squirrels themselves, you'll just want to kind of pump them up with a couple other bonus stuff out there. It really, again, just depends on what you're trying to get out of the deck itself. We're going to green real quick. So mostly for green, it's going to be mostly a lot of the ramp options here. You can use cards like Delighted Halfling just to make sure your actual spells don't get countered. You can utilize cards if you want to kind of dip your toes in the toxic. That can also be good too, depending on, again, how you want to just work with your squirrels there. Sylvan Tutor, also a really powerful card that's going to be a one mana, just digs out what you need to. If you care more about, say, like the plus one, plus one counters, you have cards like Innkeeper's Talent here, which is also great for you. You have cards that can help you protect yourself with like Heroic Intervention. You kind of get the idea here. There's definitely a lot of ways you can go with this. Mosswood Dread Knight's a great kind of standalone card just as an engine piece. If you just want to start doing stuff like that. If you want to care more about the ramp, cards like Lotus Cobra can be great for you. That'll be also awesome. Um, but otherwise, yeah, you got a ton of different ways you can kind of play around with squirrels if you want to get more value out of it. Arch Druid's Charm here for a little bit more ramp. And also for Artifact Enchantment Heat, really awesome for you. Um, wow, I just go on all day with this kind of stuff. If you're looking at, again, mixed uh, cards here, Deathrite Shaman also is another good card if you just want just incremental value out of your deck. You have cards such as, let's see, what else do we have here? If you get more token shenanigans here, you've got cards like Grist here, Voracious Larva, Flipping into Grist, the Plague Swarm. If you care about tokens, um, Snake tokens here with Hapatra can be kind of fun too if you want to go that route. Journey to Eternity, a single copy of this will be also great for you. Just again, bring back stuff from the Graveyard to the Battlefield because this should flip very easily with your deck. If you're looking at, again, just maybe more value with your sacrifice shenanigans. Veraska here is also really good for you just to help get more value out of your squirrels to help you draw some cards and stabilize a little bit easier. But again, it just goes again with what you want to do with the deck. Uh, Garrick here is also great for you if you want more token shenanigans. Veraska here is also a good top end finisher. Igra here if you want to do more of the um, combo stuff with the food. That also can be an option for you. But you get what I'm saying. And as always, I'm pretty sure it goes without saying, but I'm always going to mention it anyway. So... Any of the dual lands that you can grab, grab them all as, as soon as possible. That also will help you out too. Oh, Dense Planet. Instead of Alchemy, would love to have preferred a uh, F2P experience. Yes, I definitely would agree with you on Den, that one, Dense Planet. Uh, of Den, a free-to-play experience would be actually a lot more fun. But we'll see what Wizards does in the future. But otherwise, everybody, that kind of wraps it up for us. Because I'm looking at the clock right now. And I know we're almost done. So I do want to say, I do apologize. I had a lot of fun today, but I do, again, apologize for some of the technical issues if you were trying to watch on YouTube. So sorry about that, everybody. It was, I'll check that to make sure next week it doesn't go bad. But I do feel kind of bad because there was, I know, a handful of you that like to watch on YouTube, but we didn't get that off today. It's okay. Just again, if you want to support, just watch the replay on YouTube. I assure you it will be up there. You'll have a lot of fun doing so. But overall, that's basically all I have. My only final thing I want to say is for those of you who stuck around, my true fiery friends, here's what we're going to be doing for the future coming up. So... 
Otters is on the menu, and I'm definitely looking forward to this one. This is a awesome deck. This is hilarious when it goes off. So that's going to be something to look forward to in the future. Um, again, we're going to be starting to dabble again into so some of the basically car the decks that we have, only just because as we get closer to the end of uh, August and September, we are going to then start looking at. Oh boy, it's going to be coming up pretty quick, isn't it? Duskmorn spoilers is actually going to be looming on the horizon soon, so we'll definitely have that up. Actually, also want to make a small, cute little announcement here. In two weeks, the Inferno Man will be having a birthday. And I think I'm going to see if I can squeeze in one awesome birthday stream. And I think that will be the stream. If you're interested in playing against me, I will throw up on my Discord a way for you to add me on here as one of my, as one of my friends for Arena. And you can challenge me if you want to, just for my birthday. I want to have a little bit of fun with all of you that day. So nothing really crazy. It's just going to be play whatever you want against me, and I will take you on with whatever decks. But I might make something a little fun as a surprise, depending on, again, what you all want to play against me in whatever format. Otherwise, other future things that are going to be coming up. Um, let's see, I'm just playing around with some stuff right here. We have a discard uh, deck that I'm kind of playing around with it's trying to see if we can get that updated now with Bloomboro. We have a uh, a Popper deck, a Popper EDH deck and Tatyova here. But again, this is going to be more of than might be smaller content we'll do. As I mentioned earlier, we definitely have a little bit more other um, decks that we kind of played around with in other formats that we haven't actually made decks with. So I have an energy deck that's five color. I have a Grixis Madness deck that I actually kind of want to touch upon that actually is a really fun deck to play against. Uh, a human deck that might actually be just mono white ascend, but we're going to play around with that a little bit more. That might be, I don't know, maybe next week's stream. Well, it depends. We'll see what comes up, everybody. But again, there is definitely a lot more decks to play with down the pipeline. So I hope, again, you're all looking forward to that. But otherwise, I think that pretty much is going to be wrapping it up for me today, everybody. Again, sorry for the technical issues one more time, but I assure you we'll definitely have everything up everywhere so you can watch it wherever you want to, this stream, and future stuff. We'll make sure that doesn't get ha that doesn't happen again next week. But overall, once again, everyone, thanks again for watching. I, again, hopefully you'll have a wonderful day. Have a great week, everybody. We'll definitely see you for the next Deck Tech on the weekend coming up soon. However, just remember that no matter what you do play in the game of life, always be sure to burn bright. Later.